Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the channel. But if you're new, thank you for stopping by and clicking on this video. That means you were somewhat interested. So you know what that means. Let's give this a thumbs up. Let's hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so that you know when I upload. All right guys, so I just got back from Petco and Walmart and I picked up something cool too to replace our macroalgae long tank. And this whole unit will go over here in this corner. Yes, it's still a mess from the last update, but we're about to right now swap it out for this. This right here, I found this glass bowl. It's a 12 inch glass bowl at Walmart for about $13 and that's not too bad. And I think it's got plenty enough space for the fish. Uh, yes, we'll be keeping the damsel fish, the blue one with the yellow tail and put it in the bowl. But we're gonna fill it up with this Bahamas Oolite and I might keep some sand from the old setup and put it in here on top. And I got Airline and a Air Stone, which I will hook up to the uh, air pump for some type of filtration and aeration and movement of the water. Um, I'm not sure if the wave maker that we have in the long one will be too powerful or not because it is quite powerful, which is what I wanted for this, but we'll see how it works out. Uh, we will try, or I'm gonna try and put it in here so that we have more water movement. We'll put the mangroves in here. And we'll keep some of the dragon's breath and the pom-pom macro. I think it'll look really good, really cool. Um, just put it over here. We're gonna have to maybe get the shelf up here and maybe somehow get the lamp mounted up there on the shelf to point down at the mangroves. So it'll be about in this area, but I don't want the lamp pointing down towards this way because the light will bleed into the cave. So I'm gonna try doing it from this angle the best I can so that it's going more towards the, the corner. All right guys, let's go ahead and start draining water out of here, get the fish out, get some of the mackerel out and the mangroves out. And I've already kind of prepped a little bit. Um, we'll put it in this one, it's a bit more clean. All right, let's do it. Guys, just look how look how luscious, like how luscious this pom pom macro is looking. Wow, this isn't that crazy. Here, let me focus. Wet hands. Isn't that crazy how a sixteen dollar light from Amazon can grow this luscious and beautiful red pom pom macro? Like it's it's so it's beautiful and it's it's thick too. Wow, absolutely amazing. It's gonna look so good in this bowl. Yo, you guys, we're gonna risk it too, and we're gonna put the soft coral in there as well. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, there's hair algae everywhere, and I don't really wanna transfer the hair algae too much, so. Handy dandy tweezers. So you guys, a little foreshadowing, these soft corals are gonna be going into the BioCube once we set that back up. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you should probably go watch the last video, the update video, so you know what's up. Clean as you go, guys, clean as you go. Give you a little closer look as we pull our mangroves out. Look how beautiful these guys are. So amazing. See our root system. Not 
quite sure what those black things are. If they're dead roots or new roots or what. But, uh, yeah, they were definitely growing roots. Wow. Wow, you guys, that's impressive. Like, these weren't that big before. Look at this, uh, all the myceliums and all that stuff. That's what it looks like. That's really cool. The root system is insane on this. And you go. Careful not to damage any of the roots. Mangroves going inside the lamp. Don't want that. Gorgeous. Here we go. All right, I say it's time to drain the rest of this tank, get it out, and then move this over. find some rocks that aren't too bad covered in algae so that we can put them into the new bowl as well. Let's give you guys a closer look so you know like kind of like what I'm looking at, what I'm looking for. So like, there's all this macro but like you see all this hair algae? I don't want all that so Basically, just I'm just gonna leave it in here and probably just let it dry out on its own. I'll probably reuse it. But the reason why I'm not doing that first is because I kind of want to put some live rock in this bowl, and it'll help it, you know, see a lot better with the bacteria and give it a better fighting chance for the new, uh, like, new tank syndrome type deals, like any type of algae blooms or diatom blooms. This will help. Uh, combat that so it's not too bad. I might take some sand from around this area where the mangroves are at because they seem to really like it and uh, doesn't look too bad, too gross or anything. So that way there's some nutrients that they're used to as well. And there. All right, cool. Now I think it's time to start getting this whole setup off the top of this and then move it over into our corner. Let's go. All right, that wasn't too bad. It was actually a lot easier going than I thought it was going to be. Uh, let's get this over there now. Oh, she's a bit dirty, but we'll get her all cleaned up. We just got to get her in her spot now. Oh, that salt creep behind the tank. At least I can be able to clean it better now. There's going to be just a nice little bowl there. Well, it's kind of in place. I think I'm going to have it there. Yeah. Got the box fan going because it's the cage hot. Ooh, this is looking real good in that spectrum, guys. Okay, anyway, bowl. Let's do it. First things first, we need to wash it. This came from Walmart. Yeah, it needs to be washed. You know, the has been touching this. You know, those are Walmart people. You know, rinse it off. Pull that with water a little bit. Rinse it out, rinse it out. Rinse it out, rinse it out. And voila, guys, it is cleaned up, shiny, brand new. Ooh, it's looking all good. Do you like my fancy light here? Yeah, there's too much blue, so this way you can actually see it on camera. It's time that we put some sand in, guys. I'm using live sand, it's the Bahama. Bahama Ooh light. Uh, it might be a little bit too fine, but I'm gonna put a scoop or two of the old sand where the mangroves were from the five gallon long. 
into the bowl. Let's pour it in. Let's pour it in. All right, yeah, so we want sort of deeper sand bed with this. Mangroves like to bury their roots into the sand as you saw. Uh, they were gonna eventually grow out that five gallon long because I couldn't get that much sand in there. So at least with this bowl, I, I feel like I can get a good deep, deeper sand bed than usual. So let's put some sand in. Yeah. Dump it in. Uh, let's get some hands in there. Oh yeah, we need we need some sand, don't we? Yeah. We might just have to use this all day. This is such a good size for a bowl. Word. All that in here. It's just like it's just like we're at the beach. It feels like I'm at the beach right now. Playing with the sand. <laughs> Uh, let's see what we got. We got a good amount. I want to put more sand in there. I think I got more in the garage. I'll be right back. All right. Found some PG pink in the garage. Uh, it's no longer live because it's been sitting out and dried up for when we first set it up. But that's cool. Uh, making a mess again. <sighs> All right, mix that in a bit. This will give us some good texture because it's a bit uh, coarser than the Bahama Bahamas Oolite. Bahamas Oolite is pretty um, fine grains of sand, so this should be pretty good looking contrast. I think it's a bit messy, but that's cool. Is there a side? Yeah, we got so much room to play with. I love this, guys. So much room. It's gonna be really awesome. Cool. A top-down view, so this is what we're working with. I think it's gonna work just fine, you guys. Just fine. Um, I say let's go ahead and get our mangroves in here. It's gonna have a nice deep sand bed for their roots. They're gonna love it in here. They're gonna absolutely love it. All right. Let's, uh, let's plan this out where the mangrove should go. Maybe uh, here. Ooh, we should do them in the center. That's gonna be really great. But maybe kind of space out a bit. Maybe I should have put these in here before filling it up with sand. That's okay. We'll figure life out. Not quite the middle, but you know, the roots and everything. Give them some space. Plus, I think it'll be a good uh, growth type going up the side. We'll see where the other one should be, where we want it. I think that's pretty cool right there. Give you guys an idea of what I'm working with here. Uh, we just planted this one, it's more on the left. I thought I stepped on the cat just then. Whew, that was scary. Yeah, I think that'll work out pretty well. Oh, speak of the devil. Come and inspect my work, lady. <laughs> Happy center attention. Okay. Uh, yeah, so thinking let's play around a little bit. Maybe all to the left. Ooh, I kind of like that. Oh, they're falling. Oh, she thinks it's it's a toy. It's not a toy. What do you guys think? I can always like rotate it though. Ooh. Yeah. I'm liking that one a lot, guys. This is a keeper. These roots are so long. Gotta make sure they're under there. There we go. What I'm kind of doing here as well, creating some depth with the sand. Kind of have it slant up towards the back or to the side. I think it'll look pretty good. You like it? Supervisor approved? Or are you just here for the fish? All right, let's get some water in this bad boy, which I have mixing in the garage. So make sure you have water available that's already pre-mixed. 
<laughs> so this might be a little overkill, but I love this python hook. It's so easy to use and fill up your fish tanks without things having to go all miscombobulated, meaning the hose falling out, you have to worry about that. Just flip the lever, let her rip. While that's filling up, let's get like a, a view from the back. Uh, we can always move it over however we need to, but so far you guys, it is looking so good. And I'm loving every second of this. This looks so good. Okay guys, so I'm not really gonna bore you with one of those fast type speeding up videos with music just for filling the water. So what we're gonna do is fill it with water, put the macroalgaes in, put the fish in, put some bacteria in, and boom, there you have it. Oh yeah, so we gotta hang the light. I gotta figure that out still, but uh, yeah, let's do it. All right guys, so what you're seeing now is two days later, and it looks really good, except for some dust, but we'll get there. So you'll notice that there's this acrylic piece on top but I'm actually doing that because of the bubbles popping at the top. There were, there's so much salt creep happening on this bowl and having to wipe it constantly. Uh, moving on to the light for the macroalgae that was hanging on our five gallon long on the side. I ended up just hanging it with a screw and our lamp. This is what I came up with and I think it looks really good. I just ended up drilling screws right through the base after taking off the heavy part and right into the wall. And then just covered up the wires and it looks clean. It looks so good, guys. So just for using an airstone, there's actually some pretty good flow going on in here. Oh, look in the background. Watch watch our damsel fish. Ah, you, oh, I swear, man. He just keeps digging holes in the sand and making a mess. He's turning it into a snow globe. And this bubbler does not help, so I'm thinking of grabbing a really low type of wave maker because our other one was just way too powerful. All in all, I think this is really nice looking, and it's it's got a pretty nice big base. And I think we're just going to add a couple hermit crabs and maybe some shrimp. Well, guys, let me know down below what you think of this. And this is really nice build. It all came together. Thank you for watching if you watched this far. And remember, guys, just reef. Guys, I just want to give a huge shout out to Blaine or King Type Corals. He has an awesome channel, and that's who I got the inspiration from to do this bowl. So you guys take the time and go check out his channel and his videos.